Hola. Speaking strictly technically, the title should actually say something more like how to tell the difference between an ideologue, a philosopher, a scientist, and a theologian. But I don't think YouTube would know quite what to do with that, so I suppose I'll have to content myself with what I've got and just do my best to ignore how the proverbial door is hanging loose by the one remaining screw of its last intact hinge. But anyway, I digress. As usual, on to actual business. Fair warning, though, this is an addendum to my last video, How to Argue with an Ideologue, which I'll obviously have linked in the description, and is likely to get a bit wordy and technical. The reason for its creation is that there was some cordial haggling going on in the former's comment section, and upon reflection, this was an issue almost entirely of my own making. In my rush to cater my content to the TikTok attention span, I'd neglected to define my terms as rigorously as I should have done, an oversight I mean to amend now. So, without further ado, let me now go over in fuller detail exactly what I mean by religion, ideology, philosophy, and science. And for the sake of simplicity, I'll do so in the form of a defining question, which I will then follow up with greater elaboration for those who are more into the intellectual meat than the fat. Now then, let's actually get on with it, shall we? Let's just get the easy one out of the way first. Science is defined by the question, how does this thing work, and why? In essence, it is the empirical study of objective reality, meaning the study of measurable forces and objects by way of rational deduction, reason being defined as the logical through-line of a given thesis, or system of thought, which leads us nicely into talk of philosophy, which I would define as the answer to the extremely open question, how should we behave? or, in more academic jargon, the rational construction of an actionable life thesis. In plainer English, I'd say it is the essential compass companion to the world map of science. Third, we come to ideology, epitomized, in my estimation, by the question, how can the world be perfect? You might say that this is an extremely vague question, which leaves much more to the imagination than to reason or observation, and you'd be right. However, to clarify a point of contention from the previous video, Simply having a desire to improve the world does not make someone an ideologue, nor does simply being objectively wrong make a worldview ideological. The defining characteristic of an ideology is that it starts from a supposed utopian reality and tries to reverse engineer a path back to our actual reality, whether reason or science actually permit such a path to exist or not. A religion, meanwhile, asks, how can I become perfect? And herein lies the second major sticking point from last time. An ideology the word deriving from the original Greek forms of idea and logic, seeks to create a perfect form of society, a la Plato's Republic, whereas religion seeks to cultivate a perfect form of individual, whether by way of internal spiritual enlightenment or external supernatural salvation. The issue I take with both is that, as they are ultimately predicated on faith, belief in absence of hard facts, and hope, wishful thinking, rather than observation and reason, they tend to fall into the trap of mistaking what should be for what actually is, and thus far too easily fall victim to magical thinking, distinguished from wishful thinking by its assertion that the act of belief itself is enough to engender meaningful change, though I will also grant that this tends to be a character flaw of the individual rather than one of the belief system itself, but that's a whole other can of worms for another, probably far longer video. There's an old saying, no man ever built a house with the tools he wished he had. We can all sit around arguing about how things ought to be until the cows all evolve rocket boosters and blast off into the interstellar beyond. But so far, that's yet to solve more problems for our species than it creates. So in short, the way to know an ideologue, theologian, from a philosopher, scientist, is that the former tries to build a tower out of rainbows and pixie dust in order to reach a magical castle he heard was floating up in the clouds. He warps facts to suit his ideals. Whereas the latter charts a course to a land he knows at least can actually exist in the world as humans understand it using a realistically drawn map and magnetic compass. He bends his ideals to suit the facts. Okay, hopefully that clarifies somewhat my points and standings on this subject. And if not, you know where the comment section is. Until next we meet, stay safe, stay sane, and remember, keep an open mind does not mean empty your mind. Farewell and goodbye.